right here today looking at the new uh, gas impingement AR-15 from Stern Ruger. You know, Ruger's had their uh, gas piston system out for a while now, which is an excellent AR-15. But, you know, a lot of people don't want to pay that much for a premium AR-15. With this rifle, you're getting a premium AR-15 in a lighter, easier to manufacture system. So it sells for a lot lower price than uh, their gas piston does gun does without giving up quality. It's got some real nice features on this that I really like. A lot of standard features so you can customize it real easy. Use standard uh, mill spec you know to their parts so that you can uh, you know things that will fit a standard AR will fit this gun. Now uh, one thing they start with a good barrel on it and the barrel is, is where you actually come from. They got a 1.8 twist 16.1 inch uh, cold hammer forged barrel which gives you really good accuracy. It's a chrome molly barrel. It's not chrome line. You know, chrome line and it's not something that I like on the ARs because I like accuracy. You know, nobody takes a bench rest rifle and chrome lines a bore on it because it hurts your accuracy. This gun shoots and shoots well just like it is. Here on the end of it, it's got a, their uh, closed bird cage flash suppressor. It's a threaded standard half by 28. So if you want to put on a sound suppressor, another muzzle brake, something else different on there, you can have it if you want. It. One thing I really like they did here, <clears throat> On their uh, gas block and sight post, instead of it being a forged or a cast part, this machine out a billet, which gives it a real nice finish on here, good smooth clean finish, got adjustable height on your sight post in here, does have a bayonet lug on it, and has a stud hole here for standard quick detach uh, slings, so it pops right in there, and uh, you can pop it out if you want to, good way to attach your sling to the front without something hanging there and rattling. The barrel's a good heavy barrel. Even on this gun, it only weighs six and a half pounds, which is getting down there where a, a good AR should be. It's 0.85 inch under the handguard, your barrel diameter, 7.5 inch under your gas block, and 0.7 from here on out. It don't have the M4 cut, which really, you know, that, that weakens your barrel. No need for it unless you're putting on a grenade launcher, which most of you ain't. You don't need that cut on your barrel. Nice smooth barrel, like I said, it's 1.8 twist, cold hammer force, good barrel. The major parts of this are all made at Ruger's new uh, manufacturing facility in Madden, North Carolina. They do a really good job on it. They machine their forged uppers and lower receivers on it. Comes with one mag pull, 30 round mag, which is a dandy mag. One thing I really like here is how they treated this right here. Now this is threaded on to hold your hand guard, but you can still use a you can, uh, uh, Use standard delta ring attachments on here if you need to to change it's a standard barrel nut So you can use those on there if you like but this is a better way for holding your handguard on here It comes with these real good fold down Ruger branded uh, Backup sight you can use it primary sight if you want to because it is windage adjustable Elevation adjustable on your front pops up quick if you need it To put it into action or it folds down out of the way for scope use our standard mill spec 1913 Picatinny rail here on top. Six position buck stop. Uh, they, a nice feature I like on their uh, pistol grip, instead of it just coming up here flat, it fills in behind there. It gives a really, a, a lot better room for a grown up's hand on the back of there. It gives you better trigger control. Got a standard um, uh, mill spec type trigger, and you know it's not a, not an extra light trigger, but it's standard. What you get on most ARs, good single stage trigger in it. And it's got the staked in your, uh, on your bolt carrier group. Got the good parts on there. It's uh, your bolt, it's chrome plated, uh, your uh, inside your gas system, and it's got the M4 spec uh, feed rails on it. So it'll feed any kind of ammunition. Got a 5.56 cut chamber on it. A really well made rifle. It shoots really well. I fired it uh, mostly just for function. You know, Ruger's had these out for a couple of months now uh, to some people for what they call jury testing where they'll send the guy a rifle and a case of ammo and it's not riders and things like that. They'll send them to employees. Different people works at Ruger factory just on the line. They'll tell them take these guns and make them run and they've run really well. They're really durable. Uh, they've got an a excellent barrel life on it. They put, I think they said about a quarter million rounds through them in their jury testing, and they've run really well. And it's a good uh, good weapon. I like the way extra little things they did here, like this filling in on this pistol grip. Also, they got the uh, enlarged 
trigger guard on it so if you got a glove on your hand you can use it right there it's a really comfortable gun to shoot the weight's right the manufacturing's right it's made by Ruger and the best part is this thing let me double check here on that price I believe MSRP on this thing I had it here a minute ago anyway they expect it to sell for a street price of around 600 bucks uh, MSRP I think seven something on it but uh, by the way Ruger price their stuff so you're going to be able to get one of these uh, at a really good price. You're going to get this at a price that a lot of uh, some stripped down ARs out there. This one, Ruger didn't take the features off of it. You still got a forward assist if you want it to uh, press check your chamber. You got the case deflector, which is a good idea. Some of the lower prices out there don't have the case deflector. And if you shoot left-handed, you get hit in the head with empty brass. Ruger didn't do this. They also put a dust cover on here. They put the things on it that some manufacturers leave off when they're selling at a lower price. We're going to put all the features on here you need and nothing that you don't. Uh, it's got the, even got the bayonet lug on it. Like I said, if you want to get into bayonet and somebody, have at it. It's right there. But um, Ruger made a really good gun. They fitted it really tightly. Uh, it's machined well, and it's made in the USA as an AR-15 should be. But anyway, it's a nice gun from Ruger. Uh, I think now they call them modern sporting rifles, but you know, to me, they're AR-15. Uh, it's a generic term for them. Ruger's done a really good job on it, selling this gun at a really good price. They're in their shipping right now. I believe they've shipped something like oh, several thousand of them have already shipped out. So uh, if your dealer don't have one on his rack, he'll be able to get you one. Another thing they've got to look for is right here. If you're looking at a rack of ARs, you're looking for the Ruger, it should have that little piece snapped on it right there. So you can see what you're getting and you can uh, tell the guy behind the counter to hang you that Ruger to look at if you want to. But if you look at it real closely, You'll see that the features they did on it, they did it just right. They didn't cheap out and take just the cheapest route on everything. The machine is good. The fix good. Uh, the components are good. Just a really excellent rifle at a great price from Ruger.
Man. Okay, we'll start over. 